So you've always wanted to try working in oils, but there's one fear that stops people the most. In this video, I'm going to show you how to punch fear in the face and triumph over that main concern that I hear from most people about starting in oils. Hi, my name is James Owens and I've been a working artist for over 35 years. On this channel, I teach you the techniques, tips, hacks, and history to help you become a better artist. Now, today's video is going to be kind of a fireside chat without the fireside. Now, I have a bit of a misspent youth in the advertising illustration world, which allowed me to become very proficient uh, with a number of different mediums, from acrylics to gouache to watercolor, colored pencils, dyes, markers, you name it, we worked in it. But there was one medium that was highly prevalent in the golden age of illustration that was not used very much when I was in the ad business, and that is oil painting. Now, the other day, I got a phone call from a good buddy of mine who does magnificent work in acrylic, and he wanted my suggestions for him to get started working in oil. He had a number of questions, but his main concern was the one that I hear from people most. Now, there seems to be a lot of mystery about working in oil. What paints do I use? What thinner do I use? What is a stand oil? And these are all legitimate questions. But what is the main question that I get asked the most? What is people's main concern about working in oil? Why didn't we use oil when doing illustrations for the advertising business? The answer to that question is drying time. So many people tell me the same thing. Jim, I'd love to start working in oil, but they take so long to dry. And that's true. They're never going to dry as fast as acrylic or gouache or any of the other water-based mediums. But there are ways around it and ways to speed up this process. Now, there's two main supplies that I like to use. The first is a medium called Galkid. Now, mediums and stand oils, they're designed to help the flow of the paint and to speed or reduce drying time. This one's been specially formulated to speed the drying time. It'll basically speed up your drying time to virtually overnight. In fact, I've done some burnt umber underpaintings in the morning that were dry enough to paint over by the afternoon. Now, even with this, you will have to adjust your painting technique in that it won't be as easy to just build up colors using washes of colors that dry immediately like with acrylics. Uh, you'll want to choose your colors more carefully before you apply that brush stroke to the canvas. But the added benefit is, is that once you've chosen those colors wisely, you can blend them while still wet right on the canvas. Now, obviously there are other companies out there um, making similar products that, that do the same thing, help speed you, the drying time of your oil. I believe Liquin uh, makes a good product for this. I just, I've really been liking the products that I've been getting from Gamblin, um, this Galkid, and I really like their Gamsol, which is a, a really highly refined odorless mineral spirits. Um, and my house is, my studio is basically what would be my formal living room in my home. And so with my wife and dog living here and people coming and going, keeping the odors from the uh, materials I'm using uh, down is very important to me. And I'll tell you what, this stuff does the trick. Hey gang, if you're getting value out of this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and hit that bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. It helps me grow the channel. Now, the second item that I keep in my studio to help speed my drying times is Alkid-based white paints. Now, white paint is the paint you're going to use most on your palette. You're going to mix it with everything. Now, the cool thing about these Alkid-based paints is that no matter what you mix them with, the thing you've mixed them with drives, dries quickly also. Now, there are a number of companies making these, but the ones that I like to use are made by Winsor Newton and Gamblin. Now, right about now, you're probably asking, Hey, Jim, why don't you buy all your paints in them Alkid-based oils? And the answer is, I like different colors put out by different companies. But the good news is, they all mix and thin the same. Now, I don't really have an opinion on the water-based oils that are out there, just because I've never tried them. Maybe I need to pick up a set and make a little video and see what we think. Let me know down below if you'd like to see a video on that. Now, one of the great things about oil painting and its drying time is that 
If you make a mistake, you can just scrape it off, wipe it with a little paper towel, and dive right back in painting. I actually find oil painting to be much more forgiving than gouache or even at times acrylic. Now, like I said, you will have to adjust your approach. For example, if you're used to working in markers, you work dark over light. With oil painting, you're gonna work the opposite. You're gonna work light over dark. Now, don't be afraid, you can do this. Just jump right in, get yourself some practice panels to work on, and start making those awful practice panels. Make the mistakes. Do these studies that are just for your eyes only. Don't worry about trying to impress anyone or making these to show to anyone. These are simply tools for you to start ingraining those skills, this, the skill set you need for painting in oils. And, and these things will become second nature to you. But I want to warn you, you'll spend a lifetime refining those skills. But after all, isn't that part of the fun of this creative journey we're on as artists? learning new skills, uh, refining those skills, you can do this. Go out there, buy yourself a set of oil paints, and jump in. Well, I really want to thank you for joining me for my little fireside chat without the fireside. I do hope that you picked up some good tips, that you learned something, and most of all, that you were encouraged to step out of your comfort zone and try something new. Punch fear in the face and just go for it, because that's the fun of this creative journey. So until next time, go make something cool. Owen's out.